you're talking the hardest Gigs better pop up in your thoughts as an artist Jeez. Taunt in the market, everybody wants to know where walk in the park is Walk in the party, sporting Armani Half of the crowds all snorting my Charlie Sorted the bar, time to sort the Panani Chicks looking at me like, talk to me darling To infinity and beyond I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky I think about it every night and day my big homie Tyler H from London. How you doing, dude? And all of you guys in Serious Academy. What's up? Just know that Tyler H is dope. And I'm giving you guys a shout out. So everybody who attends that school, stand up. But you don't have to stand up. Just sit down and like relax. What's going on, Tula Army? It's Two Blunt back in the building now. A long way to wait. It is a Q&A. Oh man, I'm at 11,000 subscribers right now. I know this is like 10,000 subscribers late, but I'm getting to it. Cast TV asks, what's your job? Well, my job, I work at an office supply store, pretty much furniture, but I do like everything in that damn store and I hate it. Moving on, who is your favorite grime artist right now? My favorite grime artist right now is Getz. I like his flow, I like his, flow. I like his uh, vibe. And the thing I like about Getz is he has like different personalities and I can relate to that because I have different personalities. So his personalities are kind of relatable. So Getz is a character that I like. He's lyrically on point and he's dope. So that's one of my favorite, that's my favorite grime artist at the moment, Getz. Next question, how were you introduced to grime? If you guys don't know, I, I watch a lot of the Sidemen, you know, I, I watched them a lot from the years and, and every video that was like, uh, I would hear some music in the background. I'm like, what the hell is that song? Could never find it. I just didn't want to look for it. And then KSI uploaded a song, uh, him featuring JME. I think it was Keep Up. And I'm like, let me check this song out. I'm like, wait, let me do a reaction to the song because I know KSI is kind of crazy. So I listened to the song, right? I was like, oh yeah, this sounds good. This sounds good. And then at the time, you know, I'm, I was such a big fan of KSI that I really didn't give JME much credit. But uh, listening to the song, I was like, yeah, this is dope. This is hype. It sounds good. But then I heard this guy start rapping. I'm like, who, who is this person? He actually, he's actually rapping. He sounds good. Lyrically, he sounds good. He doesn't just sound good rapping, but he sounds good lyrically. I like, that's what started me off into uh, listening to more of the grime music, more of the UK scene. It's from that video, I got more requests. I got a request to listen to Stormzy, and from there I got requests to listen to Getz and K Cole. I got I got requests to listen to all those guys, based on that one video. So yeah, that's how I got introduced into the grime scene and into the UK scenes from that one KSI and JME Keep Up video, and this happened from it. I didn't know that there was such great music on the other side of the world that I was missing out on, and I'm happy that I actually found it, especially through YouTube. So next. Smoke two fat blunts. I know my name is Too Blunt, but I do not smoke. Mm -mm, no drugs for me. Do you prefer grime or rap nowadays? Now, uh, rap, hip hop. I've been like disconnected from the culture for like a really, really long. It's really bright in here. I've been disconnected from the culture for like a really, really long time. It's like I don't know what six, seven years ago. I questioned myself. Yo, what are you listening to? What is this song? And when I asked myself that question, I was like, this is shit. I don't know what I'm listening to. This isn't music. I don't know what's going on here. So I kind of stopped following the big rappers like Lil Wayne. I used to be heavy on Lil Wayne, but then when I actually matured, I'm like, what is he saying? And like everyone who I used to listen to, Pretty much, I don't listen to anymore. All, like, before I started listening to a lot of the grime music and a lot of the UK rap, I, I was listening to 50 Cent, Eminem, well, older 50 Cent, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, and J. Cole, Hobson, some Tech 9 and guys like that. Those were the guys I was listening to. But, yeah, man, it's just like I've been disconnected from the hip-hop culture, the rap scene, because, like, I'm gonna just be straight up. It's just full of shit nowadays, like, all you have is people jacking each other's flows, dudes on the song who, who who are rapping and singing, and these guys who are singing, they're not saying words, and the guys who are rapping, they're not saying words. And all the content is, is I got six stacks, I got lean, I got crack, I got this, I got that. All these guys talking about 
things that they didn't do or things that they see people going through all these dumb dances everybody's doing a watch me move my finger dance it's just like a bunch of shit going on it's like all for the hype like seriously man when i hear i've been introduced to some people somebody was telling me when this guy first came out two chains they were like oh this dude is the truth he's dope he's older but he's dope and i was like what is all the hype about this guy so i, I didn't know about him so i like, let me type in his music and i listened to it and I'm like, what is this garbage? This guy, this guy just yelling on the track. He's not even saying like lyrics, dog. And people got mad at me because they, they consider me a hater for for saying that these guys aren't lyrical and these guys aren't making like uh, meaningful music. But I mean, can you blame me? They're not they're not making good music. A lot of them aren't. There's, there's some of them that are, but like the majority of them, they're not really making great music. For me, this transition into listening to this new music is like really a really, really changing experience. Like seriously, I could say that. I have learned a lot about the, the grind culture. I've learned a lot about the UK scene and the rap. And you know, a lot of people here don't have knowledge on what's going on over there. And now, some of you guys ask me, uh, why, do you, why do I think that grime and UK, the UK rap is underrated here in America? Well, one, I'm gonna be like straight up with you guys just because you guys have an accent. Like, just like how you would consider me with a, an American accent, you guys have an English accent. So, when some of the artists rap on the track, sometimes it's not really clear on what they're saying. So, when I let people listen to the music, they're like, what did he say or what did she say? Because they don't really get the accent. I mean, once you listen to it a few times, you, you get to it. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's because people hear the difference in accent and they automatically think they can't understand it, so they don't let themselves listen. But if they just listen, just listen, just listen, they would get it. Now, another reason why I think it's underrated here is because, I mean, the media doesn't really want to uh, put out music that's speaking on real life issues, especially when it comes to the government and some of the songs like Devlin's Community Outcast. That shit was deep. You probably would never hear that song on uh, a radio show or somewhere where uh, a lot of people are going to be watching because it makes people think about what's really going on. So yeah, that's another reason why I think it's underrated because they're not they're making music uh, based on you know what they're going through and what they went through, and you know it's pretty relatable. But it's funny how a lot of people here in other places, they don't want to listen to music that's relatable. They just want to listen to music that is a fantasy. And from what I've learned and from what I've heard so far, grime music isn't a fantasy. It's about real life. So people don't like reality based. Like they don't like reality in songs and they just like watching movies. So that's why they listen to only the hype. Me as an American ear, uh, I'm giving this music a chance because I'm really open-minded and I fell off of hip-hop a long time ago it, it really really changed and it, it's really not about the music anymore here But uh, on the UK scene, especially with the grind scene, it's more about the music and the lyrics than it is about The other shit. So that's what I have a lot of respect to and yeah, man This is like a really big experience for me. It's like really great getting like tweets from big artists getting tweets from the small artists, you know helping people out because at the end of the day, uh, I just want this music to be known and heard. I want the smaller artists to get more attention because a lot of people don't know about them, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's all it's all a win-win situation. You guys get to see artists that you don't know you might discover, and I get to find out artists that I've never known, and I've, I get to find out great music. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a great experience. And you guys have been asking about my freestyle or my song over grind beat now. I was getting there to get to completing it, but uh, if you guys saw my Twitter post, something did happen. The guy that I record with, he is in one of my videos from the past. You know, the police in America, they're just uh, like super crooked, they're shady, they do stupid shit. The, the law system is really, you know, messed up and, and sometimes you get people taken away and you know, that shit hurts. Anyway, let's get back to the uh, topic at hand. Q&A, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and thank you for 11,000 subscribers. I will be pushing out more content soon. It is, uh, what, today is Friday, but I'm going to be uploading this on Sunday. Hopefully you guys enjoy. And yeah, I am going to uh, my room now to hook up my TV and get on my PlayStation and play some video games. And I might record myself playing it and getting beat up and mudded in Black Ops 3. 
Cause that's what I played, Call of Duty. Yeah. I'm out, Too Blunt TV. Hopefully you guys enjoy the Q&A. And I do have a lot of hats back here. And for you guys who think I'm bald, I'm not really bald. I, I have pink hair, so that's why I have a hat on all the time. And there's a question that everyone's been asking. Too Blunt, what's your real name? Well guys, um, I'm gonna tell you right now, my real name is These Nuts Gotti Gotti